Right on, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to look at a 2022 Reflection 31 MB, one of my favorite fifth wheels on the market. This one's so sweet. It should be on the periodic table. Weighs around 10,000 pounds. You know what the periodic table is, Brendan? A little bit. Right on. It's <laughs> great, buddy. Flip around. Say hello to the cameraman, Brendan Hanemeyer. How's it going, everybody? I didn't do much science past grade nine, so don't remember too much of that. Please like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Fantastic. This is a, uh, it's a 31 MB. It's a mid bunk, but it's a short mid bunk. So a lot of like mid bunk fifth wheels are, you know, 39, 40 feet overall. This one's not. It's 31 feet behind the truck. Weighs 10,000 pounds. At the front here, you've got a standard front pin box, a nice molded front fiberglass cap with LED lights right in through here. Now this cap here is painted, so it's not going to store change colors on you over time it's gonna look this good uh, for years to come dropping down below that we've got our rougher style storage in through here all right so you put your your wood blocks your sewer hoses all that kind of rough stuff in here and that's also where your battery goes this is a four-point electric auto leveling system great great footwork Brendan uh, I said 10,000 pounds to be exact this one this particular one weighs 9902 we have 30 pounds of paint tanks one on either side our pass-through storage is right in through here. All right, uh, nice and clean there. Notice there's no uh, like uh, sewer, nothing like that. Now this is a 2022, so it actually comes standard with the TPMS system. Uh, and over to further to your left, your one control system there. So you can do your auto loading through there or at the front. And then our convenience center is right in through here. <clears throat> Gate valve. City water, black water, wind rising, all that kind of fun stuff is done from here. Outside receptacle, cable satellite inlet, outside shower, again, all done from out here, heated off the furnace, which is nice. Now this is new for 2022. We have a Furion gas on-demand water heater. So it's just like it sounds, it's a gas fire appliance. Uh, you have hot water on demand. It takes about three or four seconds, and then you have hot water at each tap there, and you should never run out of hot water unless you run out of water itself or out of gas, which is great. Furnace vent right through here. Our mid bunk slide is pulling our bunks off the floor. This is pulling part of our kitchen off the floor. Drop down showing those tires. Those are good looking rims there, Brendan. <clears throat> those will be uh, 16 inch tires, Goodyear tires for the second half of 2021 into 2022. 50 amp service here at the back. It's a detachable style cord. Our rear hitch receiver is right here. It's good for 300 pounds down, 3,000 pounds pulling. We do have a four way wiring set there. Uh, backup camera prep up there at the top. And then we have a roof ladder. Get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. As we come around the door side, look at all the glass we got. We got glass on the wind on the back, glass on the side, glass on the side of the slide, glass facing the side of the, the campsite here, which is great. We've got a four step entrance, all right, with nice secure steps, lend a hand, grab handle, um, nice big door here entrance wise, it's a friction door hinge, spray port right here so we can spray down the dog, spray off the stairs, spray off your feet, and then we have the makings of an outside kitchen. And what I mean by that is we have an outside fridge, which Brent and I agree is all you need because you can plug in like a skillet here, something like that, do some cooking, a blender. We got a motion sense of light out here as well. The other side of our pass or storage, whole lot going on our electric awning starts here at the back or at the front i should say covers our windows covers our outside fridge and it covers our main door great exterior on this guy let's have a look inside right on folks we're inside that 31 mb inside here hasn't changed much 21 to 22 i don't think it's changed at all but it's still awesome um you know here at the back we have the big u-shape which is a huge dinette for sitting around with the family uh, it goes down to a bed easy peasy. You just unlock these two pieces down there, push the dinette down, and then you got to use these cushions here to fill the gap. But it's a nice long bed. The overall width of the trailer is eight feet. We lose a couple inches because of the walls, but you're you know seven and a half feet for a uh, length of bed. There's awesome for a big person. Windows around the back. These are sliding windows, so they're going to bring a whole lot of ventilation, a lot of airflow in through here. We have cabinetry above the top of the dinette here. These don't look like raised panels door, raised panel doors, but they they are. They're just reverse raised panel, so we're nice and solid in through there, which is fantastic. We do have the blackout shades, all right, with little strings here. All right, gives us some great privacy and blocks out the light, that kind of thing. Here's our theater seats. Oh, I, by accident I turned the massage on, but I might just sit here for a minute. Massage, heat, blue lights underneath. They are reclining. Actually, all three seats are reclined, so even the middle piece here, 
And then last year I learned about this. This flips over, get yourself some cup holders, nice door side window, looking out to our campsite, which is fantastic. Further to my right, we got the Wicked Pantry on this model. Look how deep that pantry space is in through there. The shelves are set back, so what can we do, Brandon? Put a broom. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, great pantry, great spot for a broom. Um, our main entrance is through here. We do not have access to the fridge on the side of the road, but we had nice easy access to the washroom on the side of the road. Here's our mid bunk, we're gonna get to that. You know, I like this kind of literature, but it always seems like it's on the way. Let me get this out of the way. All right, All right solid surface counters, All right, undermount stainless steel sink, legit countertop extensions or covers here. That's good stuff. Drawers all throughout. Okay, great space for a couple garbage cans, recycling bin, whichever there. And then our fridge is right here. It's an eight cubic foot gas electric fridge. Microwave's right here. It's a nice big microwave. Glass stove top cover. Blue lights, you flip this down, you actually have a light on in the oven, which is great. Nice pot and pan drawer here. More drawers here. Skinny cupboards there. A fireplace. DVD player above it with a spot there for like a salary receiver of some kind. And then we do got uh, our TV right here. Did you ever watch this movie, Brendan? I have not. That's The Great Wall. It's got Matt Damon. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> worth watching. Uh, anyways, forget about that. We do have storage here across the top. I haven't seen that movie. <laughs> Into the mid bunk. Um, you know, Brendan made a good point. This is an actual mid bunk. There's not like a couch you pull down. You know, nothing like that. It's just two big beds that are going to work for sleeping kids. This one folds up if you want to create some more space for the lower bunk. Each bunk has got a blind. And we do got three drawers here underneath. We have furnace vents right through there. A kind of like a desk area or you know, a dresser, I guess, is more appropriate. All kinds of drawers. Counter space. Storage here above. Fantastic. Great work, Brennan. Now, we don't have a loft here, um, but because of that, this whole bedroom area up in this area feels big and, and uh, robust. Into the bathroom. Got ourselves a porcelain toilet. Having a seat here, that feels good. Square style shower. I'm six feet tall. Do I fit? I fit easy peasy. We got a spot here to store your soaps. Look at the new upgraded uh, shower head. That's nice there. And then we have seamless countertops, sink, storage here, cupboards there, and a medicine cabinet right here above. Now, uh, I'm not gonna show you how to use it because that's gonna take too long, but this is actually the controls right in through here for our on-demand water heater there. Great. Into the bedroom. Okay. We have a full 60 by 80 inch queen. We got small cubby. Uh, compartments here across the top and on either side of the bed because these don't come all the way down the bed feels much more open up here it doesn't feel like you're sleeping in a cave we've got cupboards on either side actually yeah do you have a cupboard on your side Brandon? yep yeah cool and then you have a nice big window on your side over there too and then we have this nice wardrobe space in through here okay four drawer down below now, some people like the ensuite from the washroom to the bedroom. I prefer it this way because you get this extra bit of storage. Awesome, folks. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share that with your friends, and then you can email us here at sales at lazyacres.com. Have yourself a good day.